this video, I'm going to be breaking out some of my favorite techniques that I use in Premiere Pro when I color grade. Let's get into it. So yeah, so right away, the first thing I typically try to do right away straight is I go down to my lumetri scopes and then I just try to look. And the first stuff I do is I color correct. That's typically what you want to do first. You want to make sure your colors, your white balance is correct. So looking at this, I can see it's my warmth is very high. And then I typically just go down to my white balance and then I just drag it down a little bit to see how much I can make my whites actually whites. So that's the first step I do. So you see right away, see it's my, my it's there right there. So now this is just literally from fixing my white balance. My skin tone looks like my actual skin tone. So right away, like which is insane. But I can tell it's a little bit too warm, a little bit too cool. So I might just pump it up a little bit. All right, right there. And then the next step I usually do is I go down to no my base correction. I drop down my saturation. And then I work my curves. The goal I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my blacks to be natural blacks. So between zero and ten IRE. And then I'm also trying to get my highlights to be between 80 and 90. So right away, what I do straight up is I go down this way. I drag my contrast a little bit right there. And then my highlights, I just pick it up just a little tiny bit. As you can tell, it's clipping right here because of this. Oh yeah, and the Lumetri scopes as well, the biggest thing too is it flows across your image. So this is from this point to this point is pretty much from this point to this point. So every flow, it's across your image. And then I go back and then I increase my saturation back a little bit. And then now my images should come back to its original color. So this is literally before, after, before, after, before, after. Right away, I can tell it's a little bit too cool. So the next step of what I typically try to do is I'm going to bump up my my warm just a little bit more right, right there. And then what I do next is I add some contrast. So what I do is I drop my shadows back a little bit. I drop my contrast up a little bit. And I drop my whites down a little bit. This is before, after, before, after. And then the next step of what I typically do is I create a new adjustment layer. And then this is gonna be for uh, can't get my just my layer to drag now there right there. All right, and then I bump it up, and this is now where I do the actual color grading. So that's my curves, you know, curves and create a tab, uh, curves. And this is now where first I try to get my skin tone to look how I want it to look. So it's my picker, select my colors. I can bump my saturation just a little bit. And then also in the C versus hue, I try to see if my skin tone to look more magenta. I want it to look more green. So if you see, oh, no, I switched up, that's why. There you go, right there. So this is what I decided on making make more pink or if I want to make it a little bit more green, but I'm just going to bump it down just a little bit. And I'm going to bump this saturation down just a little bit because I know this is too much like right there. And the next step is I just use my Hue versus Luma. And then I drop down the brightness just a little bit to add some contrast. For this. That's just the G before, before, after. My pump this down a little bit. My I should drain this down a little bit more. There we go. Before, before, after. And then right after that, I go down to my HSL, my color wheels. This is right. I get the power for color grading. Shadows, typical style people usually go for is the 
um, orange and teal. But with this, I really want to push the warmth a little bit more. I want to go for, and this was one of my videos that I made where I said, if you have a look in mind, you really want to push for it. And I really want to push for that warm, crunchy look. So I'm going to increase my shadows more towards the warmth side. Right there. No, I don't think that's too much. I'm going to drop this down just a tad bit. And yeah, let me know down um, if you try this techniques, does it help out? Does it like, what's your take on it? And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.